Hey, what's up guys? Second Kurvivi here back again with another modern Minecraft tutorial. Oh yeah, so today's topic, beast space barrels from Jabba. Now, Jabba, uh, Jabba is a barrel mod primarily, and the the acronym stands for just another better barrel mod, uh, just another better barrel attempt. So, part of the better barrel attempt is you have you have beast space barrels. So, uh, so beast space barrels are just a poor uh, they're like a poor man's tesseract. So, in order for uh, in order for uh, in order uh, in order to install a B space upgrade on a barrel, you need uh, you need at least two slots. Unfortunately, you can only put one you can only put one structure on each barrel. Uh, you can only put one of each tier structure on a barrel. So you have to uh, you have to put uh, you have to have an iron and uh, you have to have at least an iron in order to put uh, in order to put a B space upgrade on these. Oops. Oh, that didn't go well. Give me a second. You need to uh, you need to shift right click it on there in order to apply it, as with every other upgrade from the Jabba mod. Now these both uh, these both have uh, these both have B space upgrades, but they are not linked yet. In order to do that, you need a B space tuning fork. See, uh, in order to use the B space tuning fork, you need to right click on a barrel. Oh, come on. You need to shift right click on a barrel. The fork starts resonating. I think uh, you have a few sec. Uh, you have uh, you have uh, you have a while to. Uh, you have a while to. It looks like you have thirty seconds. Yeah, it looks like you have about thirty seconds in order to in order to tune the in order to tune the barrels together. Uh, I did it again. There we go. Barrels are resonating together. So you have to shift right click on one barrel. Uh, you have to shift right click on one barrel to set the frequency, and then shift right click on another barrel to actually uh, link the two together. No, these have to these have to be the same type. Uh, they have to they have to have the same upgrades, and uh, they have to have the same upgrades in order to link. They uh, they won't link if uh, they won't link if say this one has a storage upgrade on it and this one doesn't. Alrighty, so if we take a look at the recipes, the beast base barrel, uh, the beast base upgrade requires two pistons and an ender chest. Uh, and note this recipe changes depending on if depending on if you have ender storage or not. Since I have ender storage, the ender storage chest is being used. Ender storage, uh, ender storage, ender chests. Why can't I look at the recipe? Ender chest. Ender storage, ender chests are made with four blaze rods, two obsidian, an ender pearl, a piece of wool, and a chest. And then the vanilla ender chest is made with eight obsidian and an eye of ender. So structural mark one uh, upgrades. These might differ based on the mod pack you're playing, by the way. Um, this first one is oak wood, and to make it, you're going to need four fence and four wood of any kind. The mark two, again, it'll depend on what mod pack you're playing. The mark two upgrade is four fence and four iron. And then the beast based tuning fork is three iron and one ender pearl. Alrighty, so like I said, better barrels are like a poor man's tesseract. So basically, so basically, basically you can, basically you can have one, you can have one giant storage linked over a large distance, as long as you, as long as you're able to tune it within thirty seconds. I'm pretty. Uh, I mean, if you can teleport, if you can teleport there, then uh, if you can teleport there, then that's there's your answer. You can uh, you can link it over a large distance. Anyway, uh, I think that's a. I think that'll be it for a brief look at B space tuning for Java. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, feel free to leave a like or subscribe to my channel. It helps me out so very much. Also, if you want to see more tutorials in the future, let me know what you want to see. Post it in the comments, tweet it at me, or message it to me on Google+. No, mention me on Twitter or on Google+, or I might not see it. So that'll be it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Later!